um, I wanted to start a mental health series, just kind of an update. Um, and I wanted the first video to be, first of all, a, a video, you know, with me. And um, there's, I feel like, um, that it makes it somehow, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I wanted to have, you know, my wonderful face, sarcasm, um, in this, but, uh, I've been, you know, crying as, um, plenty of people know, um, it's something that happens. And uh, if you're mentally ill, you know, it happens, um, sometimes <laughs> more than, uh, other times. Yeah. Okay. So I've had a rough, um, week, really. Um, I think a lot of us have when I'm posting this, if you're watching this in the future, which you will be no matter what there, but you know what I mean? Like if you're watching this after November, uh, what is it, the 26th, um, 2016, then maybe you're not in the same state of mind, but, um, stuff has happened, you know, or, um, I live in the United States and, uh, the country I'm going through some junk. Um, and, um, I, you know, I had my first real panic attack in a long while, um, on election night and, uh, it was really tiring. And, uh, then of course someone was like, you had a five hour panic attack. You're pathetic. Um, but that was the internet. So that's not a reflection on much really other than the, the patheticness of some people. And, you know, if I'm pathetic, then whatever. Um, I guess the real reason I'm making this is because, uh, everyone goes through stuff and, um, I do have a therapist that I should probably speak to about this stuff. Um, and I, I really do try to be honest with her because I know that if I'm not honest, then it's, it's me who's losing out. Um, because I need, you know, her to be essentially, um, someone to reflect things, I forget the exact um, phrasing, but, you know, she's like a mirror. She's supposed to see things from a less personal is the wrong way, but maybe it is, It maybe it's the right word, um, perspective. So it, it's less emotional um, and she can kind of talk me through it. And um, it's been helpful. I've been going to therapy since, well... Oh gosh, I think it's at least been two months. I think it might be three soon. I have been on um, medication for pretty much that whole time too. Um, and my dose uh, is up to a little bit and probably something I'll be uh, altering again after this. Um, I have, you know, suicidal idolization and um, depression, <laughs> anxiety, social anxiety all the anxieties, um, and I have other stuff too, you know, I think everyone does clearly, but, um, I have quote unquote abandonment issues. I've, I've seen doctors, I've seen quacks. I've had just like, I've had a weird time. Like, um, it's just been a weird year. I think 2016 is weird for everyone. A lot of junky stuff is happening. Um, this week, two of my pets died. <laughs> Um, and, uh, one, it was a choice because she was getting to a bad place, um, and I didn't want her to hurt, and the other one was sick, and he might have died from old age, but that just happened this morning. <laughs> um, so, I'm, uh, yeah, and I got my ears pierced, and I think they're infected, but you know what? That's, that's all nothing. Oh, and, um... For the first time in a long time, I thought I had feelings for someone and they did not feel the same. And, um, I'm struggling because I really care about them a lot and I, I want to, in a, in a summary of my feelings on that, I just felt like maybe, maybe it's, you know, a weird mental illness, abandonment thing, childhood repetition of horrible events and neglect, and maybe I'm attracted to those things and when people don't feel the same, you know? I think a lot of people who um, struggle with 
intimacy seems like the wrong word, but being close to people, you can kind of latch on. And um, so, yeah, the, the pets, <laughs> Trump, which has me really concerned about my health care because I just, it's not going to be good. And, uh, oh, and next year, I'm probably not going to be able to afford it at all. So that's stressing me out. Um, lots of things are stressful. The system for getting help is not easy, which I, I know is hard to say because if someone's um, watching this and they haven't gotten professional help uh, and they're thinking about it, you know, I don't want to discourage anyone. Of course, it, it, it saved my life. Um, I got to a dark, dark point, the darkest I've ever been, and I could not see reality um and i needed help and i wouldn't be alive without it really um i of course had a really bad like self-harm suicidal time recently um but i got through it i'm still sort of feeling it um i'm in a bad place like i'm surprised i stopped crying but um i feel it's important to talk about it because it is really easy to be in it alone and I have this thing where I want to, like, punish the people in my life for not being able to fix me. And I don't know if that's relatable, you know? Um, on one hand, if someone was, like, trying to fix me actively, I might be offended because that has happened. But then when someone is kind of letting me have my own space and doesn't know what to say, then I'm equally offended. So either way, I'm just, I'm swell. I just, I'm so easy to love and ex all that stuff. Um... But I guess the reason I'm talking about this is because I don't think people do enough. And I think there's a lot of hurt going around right now. And I kind of just wanted to talk about it. Um, I hope, genuinely, that anyone listening to this understands that no one is really good all the time, you know? It's, it's an illusion. Um, in fact, I have the belief that anyone who seems outwardly incredibly happy and together is totally not. Um, I'm just always bad at hiding it, which I think is a gift that um, not everyone's born with, the, the hiding the crap. And um, I've started being honest about it, you know, when I'm suicidal. Um I am honest about it, and it does help, because I know that if I tell someone, you know, and not to say that they would do anything, you know, because they know that, yeah, if I, if I tell you, it's not going to happen, um, and I don't, like, use it as threat, I just say, you know, this is how I'm feeling, and it's scary, and I'm doing the best I can, and um, not everyone understands it, surely, but, yeah, um, now I'm kind of out of things to say. Isn't that sad? Which is crazy. I was like, I have so much to say. and But I do want to do a series kind of talking about the process. Um, for anyone who is thinking about maybe seeing a therapist or maybe um, starting medication. So that is something I'm going to do when I'm more together. But right now, I just kind of wanted to complain to the universe because complaining is okay. <laughs> Um, I don't want to dwell on it. I just want to say that if you're having a hard time, I'm right there with you. It's, it's hard. And as you get older, it does get much harder. Always. I imagine by the time, if I live to be 80, it will be really hard. And the hits keep coming, you know? And... It will get better at times, and then it will go back to being worse, and it'll get better. Um, and it's just a cycle, and it's about surviving either way. Because if you get too happy, you might do something nuts. I might do something nuts. Um, like fall in love. That is nuts. Um, you can make it through, because I can make it through. And that's really my point, is I'm trying, so please keep trying, and um, 
I don't know. I, I again, I will make a video that is kind of not talking about my woes. Now that I've said it, though, you know, I do feel a little, a, a little bit at ease, sort of, about it. I'm still incredibly like, I'd say I'm moving on to numb. I think I'm gonna have some coffee, which is P.S. Not probably great for anxiety, but um, I love coffee and I just can't give it up. And I don't know. I guess how do you guys cope? Um, I have a binging habit sometimes. I'll binge. I don't really have the um, what's the word? <sighs> Concentration to even binge sometimes. It's weird. Um, but I'm still trying and. It all fucking hurts, doesn't it? It all hurts. Um, but maybe 2017 will be different. Maybe it will. And I'll keep trying. And uh, I hope you keep trying. And if you're listening and you're like, what was the point of this? Well, I don't know. Just to say, keep trying. Maybe to personally out loud, remind myself to keep trying. Um, and I will say that just... It's a brief summary of where I am in my recovery, although recovery is the wrong word. Again, I'm bad with words, but where I am in my mental health getting help process is um, somewhere I think I'll be for a really long time, which is learning not to hate myself, Um, which is something that I think I, I spent 20 years, at least 20 years, learning how to hate myself and unlearning that is super difficult and um often just um shit uh sorry shit and sometimes you get punched down and you don't know or have the skills the toolkit as my therapist would say you don't have the toolkit to unfuck it you don't have the toolkit to unfuck it um because you hate yourself, so anytime things go poorly, you're just like, well, maybe this is it for me. And you hope it's not. Or you hope it is. Generally, you hope it is. But I'm still going, so I'm going to keep going. And, oh man, sometimes I want the doses of meds you see with people who are just completely conked out and feel nothing. That's not how my meds are, and I just, sometimes I'm like, I wish I had that, man. Do I? I don't know. But, um, I'm sad. I'm really fucking sad, and I feel super alone, even though I'm not, because I have at least someone who really cares about me, and for the first time in my life, I actually believe that that person cares about me. Just the one. Um, and everything else, you know, of course, everything else, no, everything else, I'm a burden, I'm just bullshit, and, um, at least it's that one, and that's entirely by luck that you find the one, and if you don't have that one person who are your, your positive, cares about you, and loves you, no matter how fucked up you are, or what terrible things you do or say, then, I really believe that you should meet that person and maybe you'll have to do scary shit like talk to people and oh that's so scary talking to people this isn't sarcasm it really is scary because I've kind of attended an Al-Anon meeting recently because of my personal situation um Al-Anon is for uh family members friends of alcoholics um I'm not going back again. It's I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who's not at all religious because there's a lot of uh, formalities that are religious. But um, oh, what I was saying was that um, when you are in that environment with someone, you try to know the right thing to do or say, and so you're constantly worried about what the person wants you to say, do, or feel. Um, so you're trying to feel what that thing is that has always worked for you in that situation with whoever that person is. And this doesn't just apply to, you know, people who have alcoholic family members or friends. It applies to everyone. If there is a certain situation you grow up with 
or live with every day or, you know, you will try to, or maybe without those things, you will always try to predict what the other person wants. And at the end of the day, it's tiring and you don't know how to sort through that. And you worry that if you say the wrong thing, one wrong thing to someone, even if you've known them 30 years, 10 years, whatever, that they're just going to not care about you anymore or hate you or all because you said the wrong thing, that there's no going back. And I feel that way all the time. I still feel that way about, you know, everyone, even that one person. So that's, that's something that I haven't figured out. And I'm early on in my journey of actually acknowledging a lot of my problems and I'm hopeful. Um, I will make the video about therapy just so, um, and medication and that whole process. Cause I was really scared. Like I did, I did not want to do any of that stuff and I'll elaborate on that later, but I was petrified. Just that's the only word petrified. So, um, I'll make a video on that with my face probably, but I was just, I'm just all blotchy and cry today and I can't do it. So if you're watching or excuse me, listening, <laughs> watching slash listening, then I really hope you keep trying. And if you were just listening because you wanted to for some reason, I question that. Why? Why did you want to? But I respect it and appreciate it. Um, thank you. I think talking about this stuff is what keeps you from combusting because a lot of us hold all our shit in and then we explode and we ruin things like I did recently instead of just, you know, I don't know. Eventually it's going to come out. You hope it's not in huge chunks, whatever it is you're holding in. My advice for this video, which apparently I'm just going to give you advice. I'm mentally ill, but I'm giving you advice. Here we go. If something's upsetting you, don't hold it in so long that it becomes a fucking explosion. Don't do it voice what's irritating you not snarkily but tell the person that hey I feel like this I just I need some affirmation here and that's okay because a lot of people think that affirmations are silly and dumb and complimenting people is you know useless or embarrassing I used to feel that way so my advice is don't hold shit in if it's not with someone who you're afraid of generally. I mean, if someone is abusive towards you and you're holding things in, I understand that. But um, just in general, try to try to be honest in a kind way and try to express your emotions and know that that is the healthiest thing to do. It is not healthy to hold it in. It really sucks to go through it. You feel crazy after you have an explosion of feelings because you've been holding in so long and now you're like, ah. And it just comes out and it's disgusting and try. It's all I'm doing. It's all anyone can do. So keep trying and whatever helps you, man, whatever helps you or woman. I just say, man, I'm sorry. But if you're a man or a woman or you identify as neither, just keep trying because something has to work and there has to be a reason that you want it to work. Just one stupid reason. Anyway, I will see you guys again, or you'll see me. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay.